Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to create a month picker from scratch. And uh, I'm going to be using uh, a date library called DateFNS. If you haven't used, if you're not using any date libraries in uh, React Native, TypeScript, JavaScript, whatever, you will be pretty uh, amazed by this library. And uh, you will see how clean it is to use it and how simple the code is to create a a date picker. Oh, sorry, a month picker. So um, yeah, let's get started. Let's get started on this. So um, since we're creating a month picker, it would be useful to have uh, some state with uh, a date. So let's just create a very simple use state hook here uh, where, we where we just initialize it to today's date like this all right now in here I want to uh, show a, I'm gonna show a list of items so I'm gonna be using a flat list and um, I want my month picker to be showing inside this uh, flat list so in the list header component I'm gonna put in my month picker here like this and so far I have my month picker file over here so I just imported it and passed it here all right uh, so far so good so uh, let's just uh, leave uh, this home screen like this for now and jump to our month picker so how to create this month picker so the answer is quite simple so uh, I have a view here and my idea is to have the month showing in the middle and then have two arrows to kind of change the month. All right. So let's start out by creating a styles object here. I'm going to import style sheet, call it create on that. And then I'm going to have some, some styles here. It's going to be the row styles. And I want it to go in the direction row here because I'm gonna have the the text here and the arrows on the same line the same row and uh, let's just leave the styles like that for now we can add more later so here I'm gonna reference the styles styles dot row and in here I'm gonna be creating my two arrows so um, I'm gonna need an icon here and uh, I have pre-installed a library called the uh, react native paper so to add this one I just do yarn add react native paper this library has a bunch of neat components and uh, usually in an app you want some icons so I usually opt for this library just to have those very basic building components so from react native paper we're going to import from React native paper. We can do a uh, icon. Oh, sorry, icon button. So here for my first arrow, I'm gonna have the icon button here, and then I'm gonna reference the arrow left key. Okay. Cool. That gives me the first arrow here. Now, if I add another one, I can do icon right. Awesome. I have my two arrows, that's good. Now, in here, I want to have my month. So I can import text from, well, not from here. Ah, the import's a little screwed, so let's just go up here and manually put that in. And then have the text here, and then the date here. Okay, so, so far I didn't pass in the date. I didn't add it as a type. So let's uh, let's do that first. So here I can put the type for this component. I'm just gonna call it month pig or props. And in here I'm expecting to get a date of type date. And here I'm gonna pass it in. And then I'm gonna destructure it here. All right. 
Now let's make let's jump back here and make sure we pass it in. Awesome. All right, there's a small thing. If I save this, I'm expecting a crash. Yeah. So that is because we did not format the date yet. To format it, we can use date and finesse. And this library you can add it by calling yarn add date fns like this. After doing that, you can import format from this library. So format from date fns. In here, we can pass in our date. That's the first parameter. The second parameter of this format function is going to be the format. And you have to look up the docs basically how to figure out how these um, text strings uh, reflect how the formatting, sh formatting should be done. But basically this just uh, says I want to show the month and I want this month to be uh, show the whole name basically. Okay, so if I save that I get August here and uh, that seems about right because today is August. All right, so this doesn't look too great now. We can add a little more styling and I'm gonna do that down here. First one is gonna be, I'm gonna add space between. So there's gonna be equal spacing between all of them like this. And then I'm gonna do a line item center because I want stuff to be centered. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of padding here. Horizontal, I'm gonna add 15. And I'm also gonna add a background color of gray. And I'm gonna also gonna add a little vertical padding, this five. Like this, okay, so that, that's our date picker. That's the look and feel of it. Uh, now we need to, not date picker, sorry, month picker. Now we need to have some, yeah, functionality going on. And for that, I want to add an unchange handler. And first I will define a type for that. So here, I'm gonna add in an unchange. I'm expecting to get a date here. And I'm not expecting to return anything, so that's gonna be void. I'm gonna destructure it out here. And uh, now I can add this unchange to my two icon buttons here. So, I'm just going to reference two functions that I'll be creating up here. So one is going to kind of handle previous or prove. The other function is going to be called handle next. Okay, awesome. Now I need to add the unpress down here for the handle next. Since this is the right arrow, I want to go to the next one when I click here. All right, perfect. Now, um, how do we do this hand previous handle, handle next? So for the handle previous, I want to basically subtract a month. And here I'm going to use uh, my great library here, datafns, import the sub, drag months. I'm going to just manually import it here like this. Oh, not sub days, sub months. And here I'm going to pass in uh, my date, so the one I'm getting from the parent component. Then I'm going to pass in the amount of months I want to subtract, and uh, I'm just going to take one. And now I can call my unchange with the new date. Okay? So, similarly, here for handle next, we can, uh, instead of sub months, we can call add months all right and then pass in the new date here now all we need now is actually some logic in our home file that sets the date so here I'm passing in the new date here I uh, just need to take that new date and then call set date on it so unchange is gonna be the new day we get in and then just call set date on that and then pass in new date okay now that should uh, actually finish up our month picker here it's working quite well 
we do not have any year number on, we just have the month. So we could also add the year. For that, I can go down here, add in the year. So July 2020, if I keep the producing this number, I will get to 2019. Okay, cool. Now, uh, just a little extra. So if you just are here for the month picker, uh, yeah, have a great day. But uh, if you want to see a little more, uh, you can stay. You can stay for a little while here. So um, now, what, what what can we do with this month picker? Well, we can do some filtering. So say we have some items uh, that we may filter depending on the month. We uh, we can do that. So um, here, I'm just gonna add some new state, and it's just gonna be a collection. And I'm gonna add a setter here, set collection. And I'm gonna pass in some, um, some dummy data here. And just to save some time, I'm gonna copy paste it from my the file I have open here, like this. Oh, yeah, as you can see, we get an error here because in my dummy data, I'm actually using add months to, uh, to specify the date here. So I need to make sure I import that. Awesome, now we have our dummy data. Uh, which really is an ID, we have a title, we have a date, we have a yeah, a prop called number of words. And uh, here we add one month, here we add two months, here we add three months, just to have uh, some data on different dates, basically. All right, now we can paste, pass that data into our flat list. So data is uh, equal to collection. Cool. Remember, we need to pass in key extractor. And here I want to reference my ID. All right, cool. Now we need another key function, which will be the render item. This is uh, basically the prop for rendering all these items out. And uh, I'm just gonna render something very simple here. So. Uh, I'm gonna destructure out item and then I'm gonna have a react fragment. Inside react fragment, I'm gonna have a list item. This is another component from um, the uh, react native paper library. Also something very common to have a list of items. So I'm just gonna make use of that component here. And I'm adding in the title and I also want something on the right. And that's just gonna be a view. And inside this view, I'm just gonna have some text. And inside this text, I'm gonna show this number of words thingy. Seems like the imports are really all over the place today. Um, let's see here, text from React Native. All right, that's looking okay. It seems like we are missing uh, something here. I think we need to do this. Yeah. All right, we have some items here. It doesn't look great, uh, that's for sure. Uh, we can add a divider here and just make it look a little neater. Divider is also from React Native Paper, just as a side note. Okay, just gonna leave it at that. So. Now, how can we make this data and this uh, month figure into play? So one really simple example would be to filter this data. So I can define a new variable here where I basically go through my collection and then I call filter here. And for each collection item, I want to check if it's on the sa in the same month. And from date FNS, we also have a uh, function called is same month. 
So very conveniently we can just do well is uh, this uh, date is it the same month as the date we have selected up here yeah and then uh, that should be it basically so now instead of collection here we can add in fill the data so now on August 2020 we have only two items uh, if I go to September I have test three here and that's gonna be this item remember we added one month here with data finesse as well and here we added two here we added three so if I go to October there's one here as well and if we go to November there's one there as well and if we go to December there's nothing okay so our month picker is working and we can use it to filter out some data here very cool okay if you guys learned something from this video uh i'm grateful and uh i'll see you in the next one peace